Well, if your kids are big fans of Legos, you'll want to make a trip out to the Indianapolis Zoo starting this weekend. Starting today, they have a new exhibit that focuses on animal conservation. And Carla Knapp with the Indianapolis Zoo joins us now to talk more about it. And Carla, thanks for joining us Thank this morning. Thank you so much for having me. So, so many kids love Legos. Um, where can we find the Lego display out at the zoo? Well, starting this morning, uh, the Nature Connects exhibit opens in White River Gardens. So you can find these 12 animal sculptures kind of scattered throughout the gardens. It's designed to kind of wander, enjoy nature, and discover these amazing animal sculptures. So this is an exhibit that, that actually combines toys and nature, but how so? Well, uh, the sculptures are created using hundreds of thousands of Lego bricks. So the artist, Sean Kenny, he kind of describes himself as a professional kid. He loves to work in Lego as his medium. Okay, I'm guessing this is a leopard we're looking at here. Mm -hmm, okay. That's a snow leopard. So um, there's, there's 12 sculptures in the exhibit, and each one of them highlights a different endangered species. So this is a really fun and unique way uh, to help our community connect with animal conservation. Okay, now this is an exhibit that's only open for a limited time, right? Mm -hmm, you're right. Um, it will be at White River Gardens through Labor Day. Okay, um, and so you're talking about 12 animals in all. We got to look at the leopard, the snow mm -hmm. leopard there. What are some of the other animals? Well, um, one of the uh, first exhibits, or the first sculptures that you're going to see is a beautiful monarch butterfly. We have two sculptures that are located indoors in our Hilbert Conservatory. Then you go outside, the first sculpture you're going to see is uh, the dodo bird. And that is a really cool sculpture because it's the only one that uh, highlights uh, an extinct species. And again, it just really helps to tell the story of the importance of animal conservation. Okay, so they go on display today and they're available through uh, Labor Day. Carla, thanks mm -hmm. very much. Thank um, you. Again, it's in the White River Gardens yes, area out of the right. zoo. Carla Knapp with the Indianapolis Zoo. Carla, thanks very Thank much. We